Hi, I'm Kitty Conti, author of Secret on Cobb Mountain. I'd like to read the prologue. The sky was crystal blue as a young woman parked her car in the lonely lot. She quickly strolled over a footbridge that crossed a pond and headed towards a nature path. An explosion of color covered the hillside brought on by recent rains. The young woman didn't notice the wildflowers being crushed under her feet as she made her way up the trail. In her hand was a water bottle. The bird's joyous songs fell on deaf ears. The woman's pace increased as the trail led into the woods. Even the glorious, blooming dogwoods failed to get her attention. Nothing would slow her down now. Her heart was pounding and her breath came in short puffs and excitement building with each step. As she pressed on towards a fork in the path, she glanced down at the water bottle and a little smile crept across her face. She took the left fork leading deeper into the woods. Soon, she thought, soon the pain will be gone. As she approached another fork in the path, a loud snap in the brush a few feet off to the right broke through her thoughts. She paused, turning to look. Nothing. She continued on. Before long, she heard movement near the path just ahead. She paused again, but could see nothing. A curious deer, she reassured herself as she moved on. The trees were taller and closer now, blocking out the clear blue sky. She was almost there. She stopped and drew in a deep breath. Leaving the path, she headed down the side of the hill towards a small clearing and rock formation below. Struggling to keep from sliding in the mud, she grasped branches and rocks with one hand while clutching the bottle with the other. Suddenly, an ominous dark figure darted behind a tree. She froze, staring into the dark woods. It was still early afternoon. Back in the parking lot, the sun was still dancing on the pond. But here in the woods, the gloom hung thick, blocking out the light. The young woman squinted, trying to see clearer. Again, nothing. Just my imagination, she muttered. Just the shadows playing tricks on my eyes. She continued making her way sideways down the hill, working to keep her footing and clinging to the bottle. Reaching the bottom, she glanced back up the hill just in time to see a tall figure draped in a long trench coat darting behind another tree just a few yards up. She gasped, trying not to panic. The figure was between her and the path out. The young woman's eyes darted around, trying to get her bearings. Disoriented by the trees and the hills, she had no idea which way to go. She dug behind the nearest tree, hoping the intruder would move on. As she leaned into the tree, she listened. After what seemed an eternity of waiting, but hearing nothing except her own heart pounding in her ears, she stepped out from behind the tree, almost bumping into the tall, dark figure clothed in a trench coat and wearing a hideous Halloween mask. A scream escaped her lips as she dropped the bottle she had been clinging to. She looked wildly towards the hill briefly, then back to the figure. It didn't move. It seemed to be expecting her to run. She peered into the eye holes in the mask. She stood frozen for a moment then glanced down at the bottle on the ground and then back into the eyes of the mask and calmly reached into her own jacket pocket and pulled out a pistol. A single gunshot broke the silence of the dark woods. I hope you'll enjoy reading the rest of Secret on Cobb Mountain.